Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today we're discussing the Roger Dubuis Pulsion Chronograph. You can see this 18 karat rose gold micro rotor automatic chronograph and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch, with additional accessories included, high resolution images, and naturally full pricing details. Now on my wrist, 6 and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, you can see one of the debut watches from the launch of the Roger de Bouy Pulsion Sports Watch series in 2012. It combines Geneva Seal levels of movement finish with commensurate levels of case, dial, crystal, and strap and clasp finish. Everything is in proportion in terms of quality. In terms of outright proportions and dimensions, you can see that this watch wears large on my 16 centimeter, 6.3 inch circumference wrist. You can see it's not exceptionally thick. It looks thicker than it is because of the sheer and the height of that sapphire bezel. So 15 millimeters thick, this one is actually a reasonably compact 44 millimeters across the round of the case. And I say reasonably compact because at first glance, it looks bigger. It looks huge. It looks like it could be 48 millimeters. Now, a 48 wouldn't fit my wrist, but at 44, this one does. And from lug to lug, it's actually reasonable. 51 millimeters from extremity to extremity. There is a little bit of a tendency of the strap to flare out and fight because it is rigid and it does conform to the end of the lugs. That is, there's no daylight between strap and case. So so it does tend to flare out a bit, but it wears well on my wrist, and I would say that perhaps 15 centimeters is the lower limit to wear this 44 millimeter timepiece with proportion and security. You will note that the lugs are relatively short for its size, because at this angle you can see just how much essentially the strap flares out over the edge of my wrist from the lug. So the lug is not cantilevered, it's not hanging out and over my wrist. I don't have the dreaded lug overlap. So if you can imagine your wrist being about my size or maybe even a little smaller, you can see how this watch would fit and fit well. Now the clasp is a very substantial twin trigger, single fold, 18 karat rose gold deployment. Because of its substance, it's a nice counterweight to the mass of the case of the watch. So this one doesn't have any tendency to porpoise or capsize on the wrist. You also note that the rubber strap is very handsome, visually quite articulated. It has a combination of vertical and horizontal lines for impressive aesthetic tension to differentiate the big natural vulcanized rubber mass. You'll also note from this angle that there's actually a little bit of channeling to the underside of the strap such that it's almost domed above the wrist. This gives heat, grit, sweat, moisture, just a little bit of space to escape from the wrist, the better to ventilate the wrist on a hot day. And with 10 bar or 100 meter water resistance, this is a true sports watch, one that you can take shallow diving, snorkeling for water sports in the pool or surfside. This is a watch that lives up to its robust visual impression. You'll also note the impressive use of a sapphire cap across the entire dial. It's not just the bezel as it is on something like a Blancpain 50 Fathoms. The sapphire actually is the crystal of the watch extended out over the bezel. It's one seamless piece of corundum and you can see how it effectively differentiates the aesthetic of this watch from anything else on the market right down to the unique bolts that are employed to hold that sapphire cap, neither bezel nor crystal, in place. It also features a nuanced case with different finish, strong character lines. You can see the alternating polished highlights amid a mass of satin brushed finish. Brushed is the dominant aesthetic. The highlights serve to set off the satin base. Now the dial itself in Roger de Bouy's modern tradition is almost completely open worked. You can see straight to the caliber itself and its engine turned reverse side. You can also see that the watch features light loom such that not only is the entire bezel loomed so you can easily see the Arabic numerals in the dark, but each station of the hours plus the hours and minute hands are individually loomed. So while the watch might have a highly evacuated dial, it is legible in bright, low, or no light conditions. Now on the case back, you can see the business end of this Roger de Bouy Pulsion chronograph. Now this is the Roger de Bouy caliber RD680 micro rotor. You'll note the tungsten micro rotor in the same plane as the rest of the mechanism. So unlike a conventional center rotor, you can see the entire mechanism while having the convenience of automatic winding. It's born on unlubricated ceramic rotor bearings. It's a vertical clutch column wheel architecture. I'm gonna show you each one in operation. 
If you want to see the column wheel in action, this is the crisper, more traditional way of building a chronograph. Note that as I actuate the mechanism, you can see the column wheel rotating. What you can also see here, and this is the only movement I know of that reveals the mechanism of a vertical clutch so completely, but the vertical clutch just below my thumb, you can see its pincers moving in and out. When they move in, they lift the clutch off of its engagement pedestal so it stops running the chronograph. When they move out, they drop the clutch onto the engagement and it starts turning the mechanism. That's the only case I know of in all of horology, high or otherwise, where you can see a vertical clutch operating so clearly. The movement has a 52 hour power reserve. It has a 4 hertz beat rate, a modern 4 hertz beat rate, 28,800 vibrations per hour. And it's beautifully rendered to Geneva seal quality. You can see the Cote de Genève across the rather sparingly used bridges. You can see the gorgeous rounded angle hand polished edges to the bridges themselves. You can see the same in the screw and jewel sinks on the bridges. There's a gorgeous and evenly turned perlage across the base plate below the tungsten winding mass. This is finish at the highest level. It's engineering at the highest level. And with Roger Dubuis, you also have style and avant-garde flair at the highest level. You can see and you can purchase this Roger Dubuis rose gold Pulsion chronograph on our website. <laughs>